your true blend will be shipped to your facility in several boxes. The first step in the installation process is unwrapping your blender and its components. Be sure to completely remove all packaging material before installing and check that you have all the blender components. These include the weigh bin, the throat adapter if you choose to machine mount the blender, the control cable and the control, and of course the user's guide. Before installing your blender, please refer to the user's guide. Remember, only a qualified electrician should perform the necessary electrical work. Now it's time to remove the blender from its pallet. To gain access to the lag bolts, remove the mixing chamber components and carefully set them aside. You'll need to reinstall these components. If necessary, refer to the instructional door sticker once you mount your blender. Remove the blender from the pallet by unscrewing the lag bolts and you're ready for installation. The first step is to mount the blender to either a blender stand provided by Conair or to a machine throat. In this example, we are mounting the blender to a Conair stand. Make sure that the blender is securely fastened to either the stand or to the machine throat. Ensure that the power cabinet and front access door are easily accessible. Next, install the weigh bin on the load cell mounting brackets. Be careful not to damage the load cell. Once the blender is installed on a stand or machine throat, it's time to mount the control. The control for the true blend can be fixed to the housing with two screws. The two screws are captive on the right side of the chassis. Once the control is in place, tighten the screws and lock nuts inside to keep the control from vibrating. The control can be rotated 90 degrees by loosening the rear screw. Or if you prefer, the control can be removed from the chassis and fixed to another surface. After the cable has been installed, connect the air hose to the air connection of the unit. You need at least 90 PSI. The final step in your installation is to connect the main power. The main power is connected to the line side of the fuse disconnect switch inside the blender power box mounted on the back of the chassis. You are now ready to get started.